despite the fact that lions occur right across Africa, south of the Sahara, in terms of the white lions, uh, this specific region, the Timbavati and southern Kruger Park, is the only region where white lions have occurred naturally. Now the White Lion Protection Trust has been in place in this area for a decade, securing land, returning high pedigreed white lions back into the wild and working hand in hand with the local community. These lions are our cultural heritage. They are our ancestors. We believe in them and then they, we believe that they give us strength and they guide us, they lead us. Genuine conservation today has to be community-based. There is no other way. We need to equip our young leaders of this region to become stewards of this heritage. So we came up with this idea to revive this ancient culture that's been lost by going into the schools and encouraging the kids to put on performances and plays. And we, we sparked it, but before long the kids themselves were, were generating ideas because the lions are such a motivational symbol. Before we met with the, the, the White Lion Trust, our learners were scared, they were shy, they were demotivated. The White Lion Trust uh, assisted our learners to understand English, to dramatize. Our learners gained, gained confidence. They now even in class, they are performing well. We teach the kids about the importance of uh, the environment and uh, animals. Uh, we let them go into the bush, they learn about trees, they learn about animal uh, footprints like tracks and how to protect them. It's, it's my hope that other South Africans learn from this project as an example of what can happen when we as a united community pull together to protect a critically endangered heritage we as South Africans all have a responsibility to do that.